Today we are going to learn how to create a beautiful newsletter pop-up to sign up visitors to newsletters. From your Brave Pop-Ups page click the plus icon from top to create a new pop-up. Give the pop-up a meaningful title. Then select the pop-up goal. Let's select newsletter since our goal is to subscribe new users to our newsletter. This option does not change anything for your pop-up. It's only there so later in future you know what the purpose of the pop-up is. Once you select the goal, you will see all the ready-made pop-up for that goal. Let's click the start with blank since we want to start from scratch. The pop-up will be created and you will be redirected to the pop-up editor screen. Our pop-up will have two steps. On first step, visitors will be able to subscribe to our newsletter through a form. And when they submit the form they will be sent to step 2 which will display a thank you message for signing up. Let's create the first step of our pop-up. We will first change the pop-up overlay color. Now let's add a relevant colorful image to make the pop-up attractive. With Brave Pro you can insert images from built-in Pixabay image library that contains millions of free images. Now we will add the copy to call users to subscribe to the newsletter. Finally let's add the most important element of the pop-up. The subscription form. First drag and drop the form into your pop-up. Then remove the default name field since we only need users email to subscribe them to our newsletter. But you can keep the name field if you want. Now let's customize the form's layout to our need. After that, we will connect our newsletter service to the form and set what happens when users submits the form. Let's connect our newsletter service to our form. First click the Action tab of the form element. Then expand the Add user to newsletter. Select the newsletter service you are using from the Newsletter service drop-down. If you don't see your newsletter service's name in the list, it's probably because you haven't connected it to Brave yet. To do so, first save the pop-up and go back to your WordPress dashboard and go to Brave's Integrations section and connect your newsletter service. After connecting the service come back here to continue the process. Once we have selected the newsletter service, select the list where you want to add the user. If you don't see the list, create a new list from your newsletter services dashboard. Then select the specific field of our form where the email address will be collected from and sent to your newsletter service. We will select the email field we have in our form. Finally click the enable option to enable the newsletter subscription option.
Now that we have successfully connected the form to our newsletter service, when a user fills in their email and submits the form, their email address will be sent to your newsletter service provider, and the user will be subscribed to your specified subscription list. Now let's set what the user will see after the form submission is successful. Click the Submission Success Action tab. If you are using the free version of Brave Pop-Up Builder, keep the action type option to show custom content and customize what message the users will see once they submit the form. Since we are using the pro version that let us create multi-step pop-up, we will redirect users to a custom thank you step that we will create momentarily. Let's select the go to another step and write down two since we want to redirect the users to second step of the pop-up once they submit the form. Now that we have set up the form, let's continue with the rest of the process. You can select elements and press your keyboard's arrow keys to move them around. We can also make the pop-up a little more stylish by adding relevant icons. To add an icon, you will first have to add a shape and then select the icon tab to switch to icon mode. With Brave Pro, you can search from 30,000's free icons and insert them into your pop-up. Now let's add a little shadow under our pop-up. We want our pop-up to enter in the screen with an animation. To add entrance animation, click the pop-up animations tab and set your animation type. Since we want the pop-up to animate from bottom, we will select the fade in bottom option. Now let's preview how our pop-up looks. To preview the pop-up, first save the pop-up. When you click the save button, if you have added an image into your pop-up from Pixabay or any other external source, Brave will automatically upload them to your WordPress and then replace the Pixabay image in your pop-up with the uploaded image and finally save the pop-up. Now click the preview icon from top to preview the pop-up. Our pop-up looks perfect in desktop. Let's see how it looks on mobile devices. As you can see, Brave automatically shows a squeezed version of your pop-up on mobile devices. Although it works in some cases, it's better to manually create a layout for the mobile devices. Let's create a custom mobile layout for our pop-up. We will keep the mobile content same as the desktop layout. So we will copy the content from the desktop layout and paste it in our mobile layout. First select the elements that you want to copy and right-click to open the context menu. Then select Copy. Then click the mobile icon from the bottom. This will open the mobile layout editor for that step. Now let's paste the copied elements and align them properly. Let's add a background image to make it more vibrant. To make the text readable, let's add a white overlay over the background image. Now that we have a made a custom mobile layout for step 1 of the pop-up, Brave will serve the desktop layout to desktop users and the mobile layout to those who are using mobile devices. Now let's create the second step that will show a custom thank you message when the visitor submits the form. For simplicity, we will keep the design of the second step same and only replace the form with a thank you message. Let's right click on step 1 tab and click duplicate to duplicate step 1. The first step of the pop-up will be duplicated. Let's remove the form and add our thank you message.
We will also have to do the same for the mobile layout. Let's copy the text from the desktop layout and paste it in the mobile layout. Now that we are done with designing the pop-up, let's set where and how the pop-up will appear on your website. First click the settings menu from top to access the pop-up settings options. Let's say we want to display the pop-up only on homepage. To do that, just select homepage from the placement section. Then let's select when the pop-up will appear. For this pop-up, let's say we want to display the pop-up few seconds after the visitor has landed on the page. First click Time Spent option and then set the time to 2 seconds to display the pop-up after 2 seconds. Let's keep all other settings as is. In the final step which is optional, we will set what action which will determine how the pop-up goal conversion is counted. Since our users will only see the second step once they have submitted the form, we will tell Brave that the pop-up goal completes when a user views the second step of the pop-up, and Brave will update the pop-up conversion count accordingly. Let's select Goal Completes When Option 2 Visitor Views a Step. And then set the target step to Step 2. Now that we've set this, Brave will increase this pop up's conversion count every time a visitor submits a form and sees the second step. You can optionally get instant email notification when the visitor completes the pop up's goal from the notification menu. That's it. We have successfully created a newsletter pop-up. Let's publish the pop-up and test it. Let's go to the front end of our website and refresh our front page. Our newly created pop-up will appear with all its glory. Let's test the pop-up. Our pop-up is fully functioning without any issue, 